Hey guys, this is Warren for KL Gadget TV, and today we are unboxing this, this, and this. So this is our biggest unboxing ever, and this is Lenovo's gaming desktop, known as the Idea Center Y900. So let's unbox and find out what's inside and check out the components that is inside the CPU of the Idea Center Y900. Okay, as you can see, it's a pretty rough unboxing. The box is very huge, but what we're gonna do now is to take a look at the CPU itself, and after that, we'll move on to the gaming keyboard and mouse. So, voila guys, this is the Lenovo Y900 gaming desktop. This is a compact, medium-sized, mid-tower ATX CPU that actually looks very stylish, as you can see on the front. We have this very nice carbon fiber styling on the front. I'm not sure if it is a carbon fiber casing or it's a sticker, but I'm assuming that it is a sticker on the front. So as you can see, this is the optical drive of the Y900. It's a DVD, uh, DVD writer in this case. And on the top here, we have some nice USB ports, four in this case, and we have a headphone jack, um, microphone jack, as well as an SD card reader, which is extremely convenient. The power button is located at the top, which is actually a good thing if you're sitting down and you just want to reach the bottom of the CPU to press on the power, which is actually very nice. And this is a very nice compartment if you want to put an external hard disk um, and slot it inside. It's actually a very nice compartment for you to put other stuff on top. And here's the cooling vents, which is nice. And this is actually a button for you to release the, the side panel of the CPU. So moving on to the back here, we have two USB 2 ports, four USB 3.0 ports, a PS2 port for your legacy keyboard and mouse, and just built-in graphics for this. So there, there is a DVI port as well as a HDMI port. And at the bottom here, we have a we have a 7.1 audio channel system, sound systems, and we have discrete graphics, GTX 970 in this case. It's not the latest one which comes with the GTX 1080 on board, but still, the GTX 970 is still a very decent GPU for this year. So I'm actually glad that Lenovo has built a side transparent window here for me to look into the CPU's hardware. So to release the side panel is actually very simple. There's no need to unscrew any screws here, but by just pressing this button, there you go. The side panel comes off very easily. Moving on to the internals of the Y900, we immediately find a black color PCB ATX motherboard, which is actually very nice and looks fully featured. So let's go one by one in terms of the internals. So what we have here is the is an Akbell 80 plus bronze power supply, which is a 475 watt power supply, which will which is actually good enough for most gaming PCs because the GTX 970 and the i7-6700 processor do not require a lot of power draw. So the 475 watt uh, PSU is actually fine. What's more, if you really need to run an SLI configuration, uh, as you can see, there's a second PCIe slot, and you could just remove this one and put in a higher PSU onto this machine. So we have a two terabyte Seagate SSHD installed onto the Y900. There's no SSD, but thankfully this is a hybrid hard drive, which means it will still start up pretty fast. So moving on here, we have we have some trays here. This is for the secondary hard drive if you have, and I actually like the hard drive tray right here, which I can just remove easily by just pulling out without any screws. And this is where I can slot in my optical drive and I can just push to take this thing out and I can just slot in the optical drive if I want. Right, moving on here, we have four RAM slots and these are these are eight gigabyte RAMs, two of them DDR4 of course, and this is a very nice custom cooler by Lenovo and I'm glad that they, they, they did not use a stock cooler from Intel, which is actually terrible in terms of cooling. So we are having a GTX 970 right here. This is the stock edition of the GTX 970, not a custom version of it, which is fine because you know it has it has some good overclock overclocking headroom as well for this model but the good thing is you can also take it out and install a GTX 1080 if you want and I believe that the recent models of the Y900 should have 
either a GTX 1080 or 1070 on board already. Next, let's take a look at the Y900's given mechanical keyboard and gaming mouse. So the gaming keyboard is actually very fully featured as a mechanical keyboard. As you can see, there's this very nice textured button on the spacebar key. And as I can hear here, the keys are actually very silent, which is actually good for office typing. So let's check out the keycaps. Well, Cherry Max Red, pretty great. That's why the keys are so silent. Okay, let's put this back and there you go. All right, so let's take a look at the keyboard itself. So on the top here, we have macro keys as well as changing the backlight of the keyboard and there's another row of gaming keys right here that you can set shortcuts for your games and here are the multimedia keys they all feel very nice this, the key is very tactile and it feels nice to type on and on the right side here we have a we have a headphone jack and a microphone jack as well as a usb port for you to insert your pen drive or whatever which is actually pretty convenient so as you can see these are all the connectors of the Y900's gaming mechanical keyboard. All gold plated, which is great. So I've plugged in the keyboard into my notebook next to it. Uh, you can see the notebook, of course, and this is how the keys look like. It's backlit, it's in red color, and I can actually reduce the brightness or turn it up to the bright, brightest. But as you can see, even if I turn it down to the dimmest, uh, if I totally switch off the, the light on the keyboard, um, only these eight keys are being lit, which is the WASD and the directional keys here so that's actually pretty cool and there's this windows key disable button which is actually useful if you find yourself always accidentally pressing the windows key and last but not the least there's a palm rest that you can install at the bottom of the keyboard to make your palm actually feel better as you game so this is a very complete gaming mechanical keyboard that i've seen moving on this is the gaming mouse of the y900 so as you can see here it has a red LED like the keyboard and this is a on-the-fly DPI switcher that you can just press on it. As you can see, different lights diff uh, indicates different um, DPI sensitivity. So there are nine programmable buttons on this mouse which is actually pretty cool and you can actually configure through the novel software and the system. So what's interesting about this mouse is that it's not just a typical gaming mouse but of course it's a real true gaming mouse as it has weights right here so you can actually remove these things according to the weight that you want so that's actually a very nice addition from lenovo um, in, in including such kind of capability so yeah i think the y900 is really made for serious gaming if it comes with all these peripherals you no longer need to buy your own gaming peripherals it all comes as standard with the Y900. For the unboxing and a first look at the Lenovo Idea Center Y900 gaming desktop. The full review and benchmarks will be available later at klgadgetguide.com. So do remember to stay tuned to us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media, otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Warren Lee. Once again, I'm Warren for KL Gadget TV, and I shall see you soon in our next one.